Peggy 18. The Second World War goes beyond all boundaries in every category. We see more nations involved in a single conflict. We see casualties higher than ever before. Just a generation before, at the end of the First World War, the Great War, they didn't call it World War I because they expected that nothing like this would ever happen again. And a generation later, something happens that's even bigger and even worse in so many ways. We have the honor of making this year's Call of Duty called World War II. Our chance to tell the epic, gritty, visceral story of the world's greatest conflict. There is a genuine interest in producing a product that is historically authentic. Every part of this, this game has been researched and nuanced and studied and scanned and photographed. We really, really try to get the respect and the, the details right of the game. This is about ordinary people doing extraordinary things. The brotherhood, the camaraderie, um, the guy next to me. That became the theme for our game. On a personal level, honoring the story was crucial for us and it was something we really committed to. Our story weaves in and out of real historical events. We've gone to great pains to create those authentic battles. One of the biggest things we wanted to get across was a sense of camaraderie. The people you serve side by side with, you develop bonds with those people. Hopefully players will walk away from this story feeling like they really know these guys. Welcome to the Bloody First. And they care about them. Art influences the game in a huge way. The lighting and the tonality and the colors. We want to be able to have the player feel something. By creating a very believable environment, it allows the player to slip into this world. The vision for the art direction we call dark and beautiful. It was emotionally dark, visually beautiful. More than just being cool and pretty, it's about trying to get people to have a deeper emotional reaction to the game. Our modeling department is amazing. The weapons, vehicles, the tanks, even the cars you might see on a city street. The level of detail is just phenomenal. It's a huge endeavor, but we have to stay true to the source material. We have to research and watch a lot of film, a lot of archive footage to see how combatants in World War II would behave. Sometimes the hardest things are the biggest payoff. The combination of the model, the animation, and the audio creates that punchiness to the weapon. We record everything. Every location we record in for the game, the ambiences, the music, the dialogue, everything has to be created from scratch. We had a real opportunity here to do a level of authenticity and reality, true to the war, true to the soldiers who fought in that war. We had this great opportunity with Marty Morgan, our military advisor. We spent a lot of time on a gun range with all of the authentic World War II weaponry. It's critical to understand the absolute violence of the Second World War. It's critical to understand how weapons and firepower function. This is a story that's bigger than all of us. This is a whole new generation who might not have a lot of experience with this time period. I think this is a great opportunity to have them experience that and feel that. We've made something pretty incredible and I'm very proud of it. It's perhaps the greatest compliment I've been paid in my career to work on this project. This is the most powerful game I've ever worked on. It's very personal, it's very humbling. You know, I've been making games for over 26 years. And I'll tell you, it's the best game we ever made.